In this video, we will explore how to use Google Sheets to send customized emails to multiple recipients simultaneously. I've compiled a list of clients to whom I want to send invoices for their purchases of digital goods. Our sheet includes fields like first name and last name. Additionally, I've already saved an email draft, which we'll use to build the final email body with the data from this sheet. To get started, let's head to the Settings tab and click on Import. This action will import all of our saved message templates from my Gmail account, and you can see that I've got four templates saved. But before we dive into that, let me show you where to find these templates. I'll open my Gmail account and go to Drafts folder. As you can see, all my message templates are neatly organized here. Please type in the comments if you want to know how to prepare these templates. I will make a separate video for that. Now let's proceed to the demo. Back to my sheet. Let me first select the template in the Settings tab. I am selecting this invoice template. When I click on Send Mails, it will send emails to all my clients, and each client will receive their invoice details as listed in the Google Sheet. Let's also try this with another template. This time I'm selecting a template that I've created in MailChimp. I'll need to remove the timestamp from the email sent column, and also since this template does not contain placeholders, hence the invoice details from the sheet will be ignored. I am using this template only to show you that you can use HTML templates as well. Now I am hitting send. Let's check if that worked. I'll open my Gmail account and look in the sent folder. Here you have it, messages from the first template, and these are from the second template. Now let's get into the details of how you can set this up for yourself. I'll also walk you through the code, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video. If you find this helpful, please subscribe to my channel. It greatly supports my YouTube journey. First, make a copy of this spreadsheet. I've posted the link in the description below. Next, you need to prepare a draft message. For testing purposes, you can use my template. You can find the link to it in the description below. Open your Gmail account, click on Compose, and paste the email body. Provide a subject for the message and hit Save. Now go to the Drafts folder and you'll find the recently saved draft. After that, return to your Google Sheet and open the script editor by clicking on the Extensions menu and selecting Apps Script. This will open the editor in your browser, and you'll see some code there. Click on the Run button. This is a one-time process. You'll be asked to authorize this application, so go ahead and grant all the necessary permissions. Now return to your Google Sheets. Go to the Settings tab, choose the draft you want to use for the email template. Then, come to the Mail Merge tab. If you click Send, it will send the email to all the listed recipients. The next part is customizing it to fit your specific needs. You can edit these column fields and add more if required, making the corresponding changes to your draft message. Remember, in the draft message, you must enclose the placeholders in double curly braces, and it's case sensitive. Therefore, the field names need to match exactly in your Google Sheet and the draft message. That's all you need to know to use this mail merge add on. However, if you're interested in a code walkthrough, keep watching. But before we dive into that, let me give you a conceptual overview of how this process works. First, we read recipients and the data corresponding to each recipient using Apps Script. Next, we fetch the draft message containing placeholders. These placeholders are then replaced with the corresponding values from the sheet to construct the final email body. Finally, we loop through all the recipients, taking the email body from the previous step, and send the email using Gmail service. Now let's delve into the code walkthrough. We start by getting the active Google Sheets spreadsheet and store it in the variable sheet. This is where our data is stored. The email template variable is set by calling the get Gmail template from drafts function. This function retrieves the email template from Gmail drafts and extracts details like subject message body attachments and inline images. We obtain the data from the entire spreadsheet using get data range. This data is stored in the data variable. The first row in the data array, which typically contains the headers, is removed and stored in the heads variable. We determine the index of the email sent column in the headers using email sent call and store it in email sent call index. The object variable is created by mapping the data into a more structured object format. This helps us work with the data more easily. We initialize an empty array called out to store the status of email sending. We loop through each row in OBA. If the email sent column is empty for a recipient, we try to send an email. We build the email content using the template and recipient data. If sending is successful, we record the sent date in the out array. If there's an error, we log the error message. 
After processing all recipients, we update the email sent column in the Google Sheet with the sent status. The get Gmail template from drafts function fetches the Gmail draft by looking for a specific subject line in the settings tab of your Google Sheet. It extracts the subject, message body, attachments, and inline images. The fill in template from object function replaces placeholders in the email template with the actual data, customizing each email. The escape data function is used to escape special characters in the email data to ensure proper formatting. Finally, we have an additional function called get drafts which is responsible for retrieving all available drafts from Gmail. This function also sets up data validation in cell A1 in the Google Sheet, namely Settings tab, providing a drop-down menu for you to choose from available templates. This brings us to the end of this video. If you have any question, then please ask in the comments. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.